Kierman's rank correlation coefficient for non-repeating ranks. Example, we have to compute the Spearman's rank correlation for this given set of data. We have values of x and values of y. So in a situation whereby we don't have repeating ranks, the formula we use is given here that uh, rho is equal to 1 minus 6 summation d squared over n cubed minus n, where n refers to the pair of observations and d refers to the difference between the ranks. So in this case, the pairs of observations we have are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So after we have uh, identified the formula to use, the first step we do is to rank these values of x, and then we, when we finish that, we rank the values of y. You can decide to rank them either from the least to the highest or from the highest to the least. But whatever yardstick you use for ranking or to rank uh, column x is the same yardstick you use to rank column y. So uh, if we decide to rank this uh, column x in order from the least, to the greatest, you will realize that uh, the value 30 will be given rank 1, then rank 2 will be given to 35, so that 5 will take rank 2, then after that, 39 will be given rank 3, then after that, 40 will be given rank 4, then uh, we have 44 to be ranked fifth. 53 will be ranked sixth. Then uh, 55 will be ranked seven. Then we shall have uh, 65 being ranked eighth. Then uh, 76 here will be ranked 9. And lastly, 86 will be ranked 10. Then after that, we now come to column Y. We also rank them in order from the least to the highest. So the least one here is um, 43, taking rank 1. Then we have uh, 51 ranking 2 or second. Then we have 55 uh, ranked 3. Then 56 ranked 4. Then uh, 57 ranked 5. Then we have 59 ranked 6. Sixth then uh, we shall have uh, 69 being ranked 7, uh, 70 being ranked 8, 73 being ranked 9, and lastly 89 being ranked 10. Uh, after we have done the ranking, the next column here, D, we said is difference between the ranks, and what you do, you simply take the rank of x minus the rank of y. So the first one will be given by 2 minus 3, giving us negative 1. Then 6 minus 5, giving us 1. 5 minus 1, giving us 4. 9 minus 4, giving us 5. 10 minus 8, giving us 2. All the way up to 3 minus 9, giving us negative 6. The last column is d squared, which simply represents whatever values we have calculated here, squared. So negative 1 squared gives us 1, 1 squared gives us 1, 4 squared gives us 16, 5 squared gives us 25, uh, 2 squared gives us 4, all the way up to negative 6 squared giving us 36. 
So this is the column that is of interest to us and therefore we need to get the sum which will be used here as summation d squared. So when you add them, you will get the answer being 124. So after that then, we now come and uh, replace this figure here, the two figures we have. We have the pair of observations and we have the summation of d squared. So we replace them and find the answer. So we shall say rho is equal to one minus six summation d squared over n cubed minus n, which is equal to one minus six times, instead of d squared, summation d squared, we have calculated it as 124. So we have six into 124 over the pair of observations we counted, we counted up here the pairs of observation, we realize they are 10, so we shall have 10 cubed minus 10. So that is equal to one minus, when you multiply this, you get 744, then 10 cubed is 1000 minus 10. That will simplify to one minus 744 over 990. If we change this to a decimal form, we shall have one minus 0 0.7515, and when you subtract that, you will get 0 0.2485. So that is the correlation when you use the rank method. Thank you.